In this example, we multiply a to the third times a to the fourth. The answer is a to the seventh. And the reason is because we're multiplying two exponents with the same base. They're both base a. And when we do that, we simply add the exponents. 3 and 4 add up to 7. You can see this if you expand it out. You can write the a cubed as a times a times a. And that's multiplied by a to the fourth, which is a times a times a times a. And you can see there the a cubed is three a's multiplied together. The a to the fourth is four a's multiplied together. And when you have a cubed times a fourth, you clearly have seven a's multiplied together, or a to the seventh. You should be able to do a problem like this just in one step, going from here to your answer. You shouldn't have to write out all of this in order to solve the problem. You should understand the rule is that when multiplying two exponents together with the same base, you add the exponents. And that allows you to get the answer very quickly. You should also understand where that rule comes from. And that comes from expanding it all out like this. But you shouldn't have to expand it every time you solve a problem of that nature.